Hi beautiful souls. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Kimyana. This is the Intuitive Soul Tribe. Here we talk about all things manifesting and mental health. So if those are your vibes, welcome. Hit the like below and don't forget to hit the sub and notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the videos that I post. Let's get into this guys. So today's topic is on how to make someone think of you nonstop. Now I am really good at making people think of me nonstop and it doesn't just apply to like a love. Like everybody kind of always goes to love when it comes to getting someone to think about you but this could be efficient and helpful for really anyone you know especially if you're trying to get something improved or you have something big about to happen in your life and you want someone to make a, or a choice on you or make a decision on you or you want to get a job offer this applies for that as well okay the way that I get people to think about me all the time and just really really consistently non-stop without a doubt is that I do not stop my robotic affirming that is one thing that I am not willing to negotiate the reason why is because ever since I have been really making Making it a spiritual need in my daily life to like, hey, I am not going to uh, pass this up. I'm not going to not let this be a part of my every day. And it takes uh, a lot of discipline and it takes a lot of consistency. But if you move accordingly, this can go really smoothly for you. Now, everybody's different. You just have to figure out what person you are and what, what your situation is um, when it involves robotic affirming. Because if you're new to like law of attraction stuff, you have no idea what I'm talking about. Robotic affirming is when you basically make a list of affirmations and you sit there for a good 10 minutes or more um, saying affirmations in a robotic robotic farm format so what why we say robotics not because you sound like this all the time it's just to say that you're not really putting a much emotion behind it or much um you know influence in the way you're communicating these affirmations so it's basically just like reading something off of a piece of paper but no emotion is coming out it's the same concept it's why we call it robotic affirming for me i go as far as to practice my affirmations anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour it depends on what i have going on that day now everybody's different on how they do their robotic affirming and just because i do it a certain way doesn't mean that you have to do it that way i get a lot of comments like well should i say it this way or should i say it that way the only only wrong way to do anything when it involves manifesting is to not believe in it that's the only wrong way there's no right or wrong that's simply the best way I can put it for you guys I get a lot of comments like you know oh well maybe I should say love or say there's always ways when you really really think about it there's always ways you can align an affirmation more powerfully to have more of a powerful effect on how you want these results to come through and so for me I've practiced everything you can think of from I do affirmations that start with I am sure I am sure that people love me I'm sure that people are are always wanting to be around me I'm sure that people love talking to me these kind of things are just techniques that I picked up on on social media or from other people who are practicing certain affirmations and they feel they work really well for them I've went as far to do Neville Goddard techniques as well I do um, isn't it wonderful before any affirmation I'm saying I do um, I am I do I love I do I feel I do anything you really could think of even ask formations I have a few affirmations that are ask formations like why does my specific person keep telling me they love me and I kid you not every time we would get on FaceTime it was like he, he never is normally the person to really be vulnerable and really be expressive on how he communicates how he feels but it was just something odd about that call because it was like he just kept saying it I love you I love you I love you I'm just like why do you keep saying this and I had to correlate that oh yeah it's my robotic affirming and so so if you want someone to think about you nonstop, you have to make sure you're nonstop affirming. And so where I went when I was leading with, I do my affirmations a bit different. I do bulk affirmations. I do specific affirmations and I have lists with different topics. So some of them are involving wealth and prosperity. Some of them are involving um, specific things I want to, you know, uh, manifest in my life. Some of them are involving SP. Some of them are involving all kind of different things. And I say all of those in one sitting with my robotic affirming. I always try to make sure that I take time out of my day where God regardless of when I start to make sure that that gets done. So if that's why I'm doing my makeup, I'm doing it while I'm doing my makeup. If that's uh, in the shower, I'm doing it in the shower. If that's doing it at night, but I made sure I said it, then that's all that matters to me. I don't play when it comes to my robotic affirming. Now, I know everybody talks about inner dialogue and I talk about it as well. It is powerful. It is a very good tool you can use. If you are someone who uh, drifts off a lot or you have ADHD or you overthink a lot like I do, um, it may be good to practice this technique of every time you you think of your person think of them 
wanting to talk to you. Think of them wanting to text you nonstop and say an affirmation that's small and easy to attain. Like my SP misses me. My SP misses me. My SP misses me. Saying that throughout the day while you're doing stuff. If you are like me and you just overthink a lot, then those moments when you start thinking about them, whether it be in a good way or a bad way, go straight to that affirmation. And the more you practice that, you'll start to realize that subconsciously you start saying these affirmations and you're like doing other stuff throughout the day and you're not even realizing what you're saying. Like, that happens to me a lot more now because of how much I do inner dialogue and inner dialogue is just a way of like like specifying to the universe that this is going to happen this is what I want and I'm going to get a response right and so for me I did I miss you I miss like not I miss you but my SP misses me misses me misses me I think I said it a few different ways but I was still busy I still was going throughout my life going throughout my day that day and just really having a good time but in my head when I would drift off or daydream or whatever I would be saying he misses me he misses me he misses me he misses me and I kid you not that morning he texted me and I was asleep at the time but he had texted me and was like I miss you and I was like wow he never really does that so that's kind of funny and so you can get the exact response that you want from someone you just have to have a good core belief system in it and you cannot give up you have to stay weighed in what it is you want like despite any conflicts despite what shows up in the 3d despite what you may have seen them post you have to be willing to treat your spirituality your affirming your manifesting just as important as you take brushing your teeth every morning just as important as you take taking a shower every day just as important as it is for you to show up at work every day like you have to treat affirming the same exact way with the same exact effort because if you don't you are going to get a rude awakening and what that will be is like you will get what you want you'll get specs and picks and perks of it but it will not stay consistent and so you'll get a lot of hot and cold energy and you'll be so used because a lot of people are used to thinking one certain way and they don't realize when you're learning manifesting you're learning how to do robotic affirmations you have to be gentle with yourself because things are going to happen. You're going to feel a certain way. You, your, your thought process will change. There's going to be a lot going on. And every day you may not be in the mood to say affirmations. But if you stay at it and you do these robotic affirm affirmations and you try inner dialogue, you will see significant change. And so for me, it would always come in in specs. What I mean by specs is... As I would do my affirmations consistently throughout the day, I didn't spend a lot of time because I do all these different affirmations. I don't I don't dedicate my robotic affirming to one topic. The reason why I don't do that is because then I'm going to be looking for results every day. I'm going to be looking for some kind of proof that, oh, did he contact me yet? Did he text me? Did he pick up the phone yet? Did he, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like you're always just consistently looking for the answer to that one statement that you've been making. That's why I personally do not use that. But other people, if that works for them, they like doing it that way cool that's cool for you you have a very strong mind I'll say that because for me uh -uh. I'm not saying that I don't have a strong thought process when it comes to manifesting but one thing I do know for sure is that if I'm manifesting let's say a hundred things right that's why it takes me an hour right um at least I can see throughout that day without focusing on every of course I'm not gonna be thinking about every affirmation I said but there are things that are gonna come through in that day that are af af like affirming what I manifested and it's so cool guys it's really the coolest thing ever because when I would get the specs of contact from him like times I didn't have to reach out he just was acting crazy it was because of my affirming when you're saying things like somebody's addicted to you they're obsessed with you they miss you they want to talk to you they love talking to you and only you what do you think is happening they're instantly getting these downloads and so when the specs come in whether it's like you reaching out or them reaching out that's what i like to call the specs uh you will notice their thought process, the way they're coming at you, the way they're communicating with you, it's a lot different. It's a lot more emotion behind it. It's a lot more um, need. There was a lot of need showing up with him. Like, can you FaceTime me? Can you FaceTime me? Can you call me? Can you call me? Like, can we talk? Can we talk? I'm like, dude, what's the rush? You good? Like, you acting like you need like an inhaler. Do you want me to go get an inhaler? Because your lungs must be closing up. Like, I'm telling you, bro. Like, I'm not joking. I'm not kidding. Um, it's just, you have to believe. You have to have faith. Like, and you cannot give up. Like, I don't care if it's been a month. I don't care if it's been three months i don't care if it's been a year because come on a year really you're gonna tell me in a year you didn't see nothing yet like nah and if you do feel that way if you feel like okay i've been doing this for like a year and i'm not getting no results you need help you need guidance don't just sit around in your own brain thinking that you know it all like People have to understand, just like anything we would pay for in this life, how to do real estate, how to uh, be a scientist, how to be a doctor, you know, like they, these things cause, they, they, 
they need studying. They need coaching material. They need these things to be better at a skill set that they are learning. And that's what people have to realize. You don't just wake up one day and be the greatest real estate agent in the world. You become the greatest real estate agent in the world by going to school for it, by getting a degree in it, by getting certified. And so that's the same way you have to treat manifesting. Stop being afraid to spend money. Stop being afraid to uh, go towards what it is that's going to help you, that is going to make you better. I've always been a big advocate of investing in myself because guess what the one thing people cannot take away from you is your knowledge what you have up here and so for my whole life I'm talking eight nine ten plus years of being online and learning all the things I've learned it has helped me in tremendous ways and I was not afraid to cut a check and there were times where I wasn't even the best position to cut a check but I knew by me learning and getting this knowledge of what I needed to make my life better, that it would help me. And it is done exactly that. And so you have to ask yourself, do you want to keep sitting here complaining about how the law of, attract- law of attraction doesn't work for seven plus years? Or do you want to just say, hey, this is a good mentor. I think that this person could help me. Let me do a one-on-one session with them. Let me uh, book once a week or once every other week. Let me make sure that I uh, participate in the membership group they have so I can get more tools and more help in manifesting. You are the one who's going to make your life great nobody else so if you want to continue to tell yourself that you don't need help then okay you better be actively participating in every single aspect of manifesting and I hate to be so hardcore with this but it's the truth guys just like anything in life if you're not good at something or you're having trouble or you're struggling you should get guidance you should get mentorship you should get help because that is what it's there for and if one person doesn't work try another there's been times where i would invest in mentor programs especially with really hard topics i'm talking about like uh markets and crypto and uh forex there was times where i really needed guidance i really needed help and i paid people an arm and a leg i'm talking half a thousand dollars sometimes 500 a month it just depends on what it was that i was trying to learn at that time and there are times where i realized well this mentor It's not for me. He's a great mentor. He does great, but it ain't helping me. Not my thought process, not my education. So I've went in different routes. And then I find out that another mentor actually was was the teacher I needed because it's not so much about a person is not helping you because they're not good at it. Sometimes you just need a different way of explaining something. You need someone to explain something to you in a different manner. And that's what people keep forgetting. We all have different learning curves. Some people can hear something and they can remember it like that. Other people can look at something and they can remember it. And then other people can do what it is they need to do to uh, perform whatever they're trying to perform and they can remember it but everybody's different some people's learning curves are faster some people's learning curves are smaller my daughter is doing things that most people don't do at her age she's four years old and knows how to ride a bike and I'm talking about a big bike like on her own by herself like ridiculous stuff that my daughter is doing like I'm like wow like other kids are not doing this right now like so you just have to be patient with yourself you have to understand the law of attraction law of assumption whatever you want to believe in at the end of the day you have been thinking one way for a very long time be easy on yourself because i feel like people who say oh i've been manifesting for seven years um and i haven't got what i want i feel i do in a way feel that's kind of dramatic because even me when i didn't know about manifesting you're always manifesting first of all so if you're walking around telling people like it's been a decade and i haven't gotten anything i want well yeah of course just like i told you you need to go get mentorship but not even just that it's like you sometimes people just look at the negative and they don't really see all the positives that have really happened in their life. And so you have to sit there and break down a gratitude list of all the things they should be grateful for. And then that's when they wake up and realize like, wow, I actually did manifest a lot. Exactly. If you have a roof over your head, you manifested that. Whether you believed in manifestation at the time or not, it doesn't matter. If your kid has food to eat on their table, if they have water to drink, if you have a bed to lay in every night, you have most, you have something most people in this world don't even, they can dream of, but they don't even get to feel it. They don't even get to experience it. So it's time to we we just have to pick up we have to wake up we have to realize that like your life isn't as bad as you're making out to be it's only going to be bad because of your perspective on it so if you're constantly telling yourself you can't manifest manifesting is hard for you it's been seven years and you don't know how to manifest then that's exactly what's going to show up in your reality and you're going to have to get over it because that's exactly what the law of attraction law of assumption is about is your mindset and your perspective so although consciously you could be saying oh i'm actively saying affirmations every day why is it not working that's your conscious brain that's what you think is going on but subconsciously you are really in a very negative headspace because if you're really being honest about oh i haven't seen results 
at all in years, then that's because subconsciously you have something you need to get in order. You have something you need to heal from because you are constantly thinking to yourself for some reason that you're unable to uh, manifest. And that's crazy. I just had someone comment on one of my videos the other day and they said, can you manifest a billion in three days? And I knew they were being sarcastic, but I really didn't give a crap because I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, yes, exactly. You can. There's people all the, all over the fucking world that end up being millionaires that end up actually getting whatever they want in their life. And it doesn't take 20 years to do it. I mean, come on, think about all the football players that literally wake up one day, they go and, and become D one. Now they're the first pick in a football, in a football, um, announcement on who's going to get the net, the, uh, the contract that's going to last year and now they're freaking filthy rich their whole family's filthy rich so yes you can you can uh get the lottery when the lottery's at 900 something million that's almost a billion in itself you can win the lottery and be a, a freaking uh billionaire in a day so it's stuff like that that i don't i i'm willing to respond to those type of commentaries but don't come at me like, oh, you know, this isn't possible. Then that's why it's not possible. And I told him straight up, I said, listen, yes, you can become a billionaire in three days. But if you believe you can't, then you're not. It's as simple as that. Like people have to stop. Get, you're, a lot of people love their past trauma and their past mistakes. And uh, even when it comes to narcissism and abuse and stuff, they want to put that on other people. It's not my fault that you believe in negativity more than you do optimism. You have some work to do. That's why you're not getting what you want. If you think it's easier to walk around life acting as if life is happening to you and that every bad thing is on its way to you. Don't come in my face asking me why you're not getting what you want. That's exactly why you're not getting your, it's not rocket science, but everybody wants to make it rocket science. It's not that deep. It's not. It's simply having faith and believing in the opportunity that has presented itself for you to create the outcomes you want. Because regardless, whether you believe in the law of attraction or the law of assumption, or if you don't, you both are right. The person that believes he can't be better and can't be a billionaire, you're right. And the person that believes that he can, you're right. Every single person on this earth is right. Even if you've never been taught law of attraction a day in your life, you're right. You know why? Because we're always creating, we're always thinking, and we're always manifesting. So you have to ask yourself, what is my belief system? What do I need work on? And if you need help, don't be afraid to get it. Don't be afraid to cut a check because you'd be shocked at the amount of people that are doctors, surgeons, all these wonderful people in this world that are saving people every day, all because they chose to keep pushing, all because they chose to cut a check, all because they chose to put money towards their dreams and aspirations. So you have to ask yourself, how long do you want to stay here and suffer? When you can answer that question, then you'll cut the check. All right, guys. So I'm seeing you guys lots of love and light. I'm sorry I had to go so hard on this video, but it's just people have to realize we are we are the person standing in our way. No one else. OK, you're the one who creates your life. You're the one who makes things happen. But you got to get back on that totem pole. You got to understand this is all you, baby. It ain't nobody else. It ain't nothing. And that's a hard nut for people to crack. But it's the truth. It's the truth. All right, guys. If you guys haven't already, get the Manifest Everything journal. In this journal, I have very powerful techniques that are going to help you manifest extremely fast. So if you're trying to get somebody to think about you nonstop, this is the best way to go because I have affirmations in here that are powerful, but also not just that techniques that you can use that will get them to think of you nonstop. If you guys haven't joined the VIP Soul Jimmy Lights group yet, you are missing out. We do 12 part series in there. We have member only videos. You get access to all public videos before they're released. So there's a lot of good stuff in there along with member only lives. You will see affirmations that are very powerful that are helping our members get fast results, like speedy, speedy results. So if you haven't joined, join now. If you're a new viewer and you made it this far, you must like it here. So hit the like that button. Don't forget to sub and welcome to the Intuitive Soul Tribe. You are now an Intuitive Soul Gem. So welcome. I'm seeing you guys so much love and light. If you guys need any coaching, I do offer that below. Those links are in the description below. You can book a time with me. We can go ahead and get you manifesting what it is you want and quick. And on top of that, I do offer email coaching. So if you're like kind of shy, you don't really want to be on the camera, that's fine. I can send you, uh, you know, responses to you on your desired situation along with custom affirmations okay so you guys so much love so much light as i always tell you guys go get your food to the